Good morning! Happy Friday! It has been such a long time since I vlogged, so I thought I'd kind of show you what's up give you a little insight, do some Miami things with you this weekend. Anyways, I was having some tech issues with my computer this morning, so I am like a little frazzled. It's 8.30. I meant to work out at 8. Fine, we're gonna head down to the gym right now. On Fridays, I like to have what I call a me morning where I don't really focus on work, even though I already did because my computer wasn't working. But anyways, like to not focus on work get a workout in in the morning and then i like to go and get myself a coffee a small breakfast and then work on my laptop somewhere that's not being cooped up in my apartment so workout today i think is just gonna be a strength workout i did pilates yesterday so we're just gonna get a quick and easy strength workout in today and then we'll get started with the day the worst workout in the world. <laughs> My shower's warming up, but it's fine. I'm starving. Here's what I'm wearing today. I have this shirt from Shein. These pants I got from Hollister, honestly, like three years ago. And then I'll wear some flip-flops. And then I'm wearing my adorable Kate Spade bag. This actually went on sale for $59 yesterday. So keep an eye out on my community tab. I always share with you when my favorite Kate Spade bags go on sale. But how cute is this? And it's just going to hold my phone and my cards. I'm bringing my Dagny Dover with me to hold my laptop and stuff. I normally use like my Marc Jacobs tote bag, but I kind of want to walk around. And this is a little easier. Oh, don't, don't look at my feet. <laughs> this is a little easier to walk around in. walk around a little bit show you around Wynwood I'm not super familiar with Wynwood I really should visit more they have a bunch of cool restaurants and cafes and there's graffiti everywhere this place is like known for the art museum right here is Wynwood walls when you enter there's just so many walls of art it's really incredible surprisingly Jose and I have never been inside but you can see it's very very busy I feel like such a tourist right now with my camera and my backpack. <laughs> I'm gonna walk down this main street just to show you guys a little bit of Wynwood. It's so different from the rest of Miami. It's very, very cool. There's lots of construction going on right now. So cool. There's more of Wynwood walls. Joe in the juice. I love Joe in the juice. Uh, let me go home before the clouds come. Then again, if you're visiting Miami, Mr. O1 has my favorite pizza. And then the Oasis is a great place to come to. Hold on, I'll show you when I walk by. Be careful, cars don't really listen to crosswalks here. And if you need to do work, this place, Novella Cafe Social, they have the best Wi-Fi, the best upload speed, literally faster than my Wi-Fi, so sometimes I'll come here. And this is the Oasis. There's a bunch of different food places. You can see a lot of people working there. It's beautiful. Just made it home, picked up a few packages that I'll share with you, but a very, very exciting one came from BoxyCharm. So I'm really excited to say that today's video is sponsored by BoxyCharm. A surreal moment for me because I was a subscriber of BoxyCharm many years ago in college for a very long time. I loved BoxyCharm. I used to look forward to my BoxyCharm box every single month. This is when I was a broke college student it is such a good value and you get five full-size products every single month for just $27.99 and when I was a broke college student that was a big deal I always think subscription boxes are a great option if you want to try out a bunch of new products without breaking the bank but October is a very very special month for all premium subscribers to BoxyCharm premium subscribers 
existing as well as those who sign up during the month of October. You guys are gonna receive a Tarte takeover box. You get six full size Tarte products. And this is gonna be in place of your usual premium box. And this is exciting for me because I mean Tarte is such a well-known brand and you get really popular products in here so this is just one more wonderful benefit to subscribing to boxycharm never know when you guys are gonna get special boxes let's do my makeup for today because i am looking bare but here it is i mean i already see a product in here that i really love so we have this and the info card with what came in mind so let's see so we have the drink of h2o hydrating boost moisturizer perfect okay so this is what i'm really excited about i actually have this but in a different color and it's a really great product this is the breezy cream blush this right here alone 24 dollars. this is 39 dollars. what a good deal see we have a double take awake micro liner and brightener so an eyeliner and then a highlighter in there we have an eyeshadow palette this is the sunrise amazonian clay eyeshadow palette Price is $30. This is a BoxyCharm exclusive, by the way. Oh, and the eyeliner, $25. We have their very popular Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. Price is $24 on this. It's been a while since I've used this. I'm excited to try this again. And this is such a big deal because this is a viral, super trendy product. I can't believe they put this in the box. This is a Maracuja Juicy Lip. Price is $21. And they curated all of these boxes to have pretty neutral colors so that they would go with the most amount of skin tones. So let's go ahead and get these products on my face so that I can freshen up a little bit. We're gonna start off with this moisturizer that I've never tried. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The gel moisturizer. This is the most expensive item in the box. Ooh has a really fresh scent to it, but not overpowering. But I like a little bit of fragrance in mine. I put a lot on because I am a dry girl right now. So I'm just gonna let that soak in. Let me do my eyebrows really quickly. So I'm just gonna brush them up. Today I wanna go with a super fresh faced makeup look. So I'm just throwing on some very natural products, like a tinted brow gel right here. So it's gonna add just a little bit of color, but I'm not doing, you know, any filling in a little bit of concealer you know in these spots right here and i mean you guys get these front and center and then i get a little bit on my cheeks because i do have naturally red cheeks blend that out so you guys know how that clean girl aesthetic is really trending on tiktok though it's slowing down because it's fall and now we're all excited about wearing a little bit more makeup i mean i'm a kind of all or nothing girl when it comes to makeup but lately i haven't been i've just been doing a little bit of zhuzhing like this just to like freshen up a little bit like today i'm not really filming a full video so i just want to look a little bit more awake without spending too much time on my makeup today so that's good enough hop into the cream blush this is really really good i already know i love this i have it in another color the color that they sent me was peach sunset this is such a pretty color i'm just gonna go ahead and put that on my cheeks when i was a kid and a teenager just getting into makeup i used to think like what is the point of blush you cover your redness up just to put color back on i was so naive look how pretty that is just a little bit of concealer and this blush looks so nice sorry i'm looking in the viewfinder because i'm <laughs> using it as a mirror but you see how pretty and fresh my skin looks now i'm not gonna do too much with the eyeshadow palette since i'm going super duper natural today but i want to take a look at it okay these colors really nice and natural perfect for my look today which is gonna be like next to nothing I'm gonna take a little bit of a door right here which is a lighter shade and i'm pretty much gonna put this all over the eye just for oil control so that my concealer doesn't go into my creases and we're going into a mixture of delight and enchanting i'm gonna get a little bit underneath as well that's just gonna add a little extra definition and interest to the eye. Really enjoy these colors. They're perfect everyday shades for just throwing on makeup. I'm gonna use my finger and let's go into Brilliant here, which is a shimmery champagne. Ooh, doesn't that look pretty? I'm actually gonna use this Brilliant shade and I'm gonna put it right here, the tops 
of my cheeks. That makes a pretty highlight, just for a little some some. I mean, I went really light and natural with this, but you can use this to deepen, get a more dramatic look, or use it as eyeliner. There's a lot more you can do with this. It's a gorgeous palette, but again, clean girl aesthetic today. Let's try this Double Take Awake eyeliner. We'll do a little baby wing. Has this little highlighter side, so I'm gonna run this, wow, in my waterline. That will brighten the eyes, make them look a little bigger, and then you can also put it in the inner corner or use it to define your brows if you want. This is a liquid liner, and all I'm gonna do, and I'm not gonna look in the camera for this, it could go very bad, but I'm gonna do a little baby wing. That wasn't so baby, was it? Excuse me for a moment. We ended up doing more of like a toddler sized wing instead of a baby wing, but this hip is really, really tiny and it's really, really black. I've never heard anybody talk about this product, but it's, it's really nice. And then I'm gonna use the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, just a light layer. I really just wanted the wing to pop out here. It's like this, it's in this cool packaging. Gonna do a light coat. Not even gonna curl my lashes. I just really wanna make my lashes a little bit more black. And then we're gonna finish up with lips. Like I said, this product is super duper popular right now. They were sold out of all of the colors for the longest time. The color they sent me was rose, so this is gonna be a good one. So it comes in packaging like this, and for hydrating, and just leaves a pretty rose tint to the lips. And that's it, that's today's makeup. I used all of the products from the box as well to get this really natural look. So just remember, all BoxyCharm Premium members, you guys are going to get this Tarte Takeover box this month. And any of you guys who sign up for BoxyCharm before the end of October, you'll receive this box as well, as well as a free gift at checkout. So those of you who do join this month, you will get a free little extra extra this month. So I'm gonna have a link down below to sign up for BoxyCharm if you are interested. So make sure you sign up before the end of the month if you want to get this Tarte Takeover box, which I think is a really great value. These are popular products that are being sold at full price today. Again, thank you to BoxyCharm for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's continue on with the unboxing because I got more. Okay, so you guys know how I always post the Kate Spade deals of the day. One of them got me. I have a lot of Kate Spade purses, so I don't buy every Kate Spade deal of the day, even though I want to, but this one I could not resist. I think I'm gonna do a dedicated video on this, but this is the Love Shack heart bag, and this was always like over $200. This is a super trendy bag. Coach had one as well that was super trendy, but I'd always wanted the Kate Spade one, and it went on sale for like $100, well over half off of what it had been selling for. I'd been keeping an eye out to see if this ever went on sale. I didn't think it was ever going to because it was so popular, but I did, so I snatched up this one. I feel like it looks like a little lunchbox. It's the wicker pattern. I think it is so cute, and it's a crossbody, so it comes with a white strap in here as well. Again, I think I'm gonna do a dedicated review on this, so keep an eye out, but they did have this on sale in a bunch of different colors as well. I think it is so cute for Miami if you have like a really girly, feminine kind of aesthetic style. I think this is gonna look so cute with my dresses. It's a little bit more summery, but I think I will still get a lot of use. So I'm excited about that. And then the last thing that I have, I actually got this last night, but I want to talk about it because I'm so excited. I spent a pretty penny on this. Like, my wallet is in tears right now. <laughs> but I got a Mac Studio. So this is kind of, it's like a desktop. It's just a box. You know, it's just this silver thing right here. It is not exciting. It would have been more exciting if I had bought the one with the desktop. A laptop and technology goes through a lot because I upload pretty much every single day on almost every social platform. So I need a ton of memory. I don't know, I'm really, really excited. You remember how I said in the beginning of this vlog how I was getting frustrated with technology this morning and it flustered me. It was because I was trying to set this up. But this is the real deal. So hopefully it's gonna be amazing for my editing. I filmed a huge makeup declutter a couple months ago and I never uploaded it because I didn't have enough storage on my laptop to handle all the footage. So that will be coming. I'm gonna edit it 
on this studio once I get everything set up. I need to buy a keyboard still, I think. So I'm, I think there's an Apple store in Brickle. I'm gonna pick that up later. That's the new ex and exciting stuff that has graced my apartment. So all exciting stuff for the Mac studio and this thing and the tart box. <sighs> I actually need to continue with working and editing my video for today. So I'm gonna do that. It's on my laptop though, so I'm not even gonna start editing on my new computer yet. Ooh, you know what I wanted to do first before I started working? So you saw I was at Rodilla this morning, working a little bit. So that is a Spanish little cafe. They have it in Spain. Jose is the one that told me about it. And I got a bagel, it was all right. I could've made something like it at home, honestly. But they had these little sandwiches with like the crust cut off. They look so yummy. It was like four bucks, pretty cheap for Miami. I wanted to get a smoothie, but smoothies are like $9. And I just, I can't. I can't justify a $9 smoothie when I can make a good one at home. But I got a chicken curry sandwich to try for lunch. Mmm, actually. If you're new to my vlogs, my other passion besides beauty is being a foodie. So my vlogs are pretty much about me being a foodie. <laughs> I'm done procrastinating. I'm about to edit this video. See y'all in a few. Finished editing. It was a long one to edit. <laughs> I'm gonna take a break from staring at the computer and film a PR unboxing TikTok. So have you guys seen my crazy unboxings? Well, the worst part about them is that I have to keep all the dang boxes. Not complaining, I'm very, very grateful, but our apartment is too small for me to continue on like this. But anyways, I'm gonna make the intro for that. But yeah, I just wanna explain kind of why I upload them. They are not in any way to brag. For me, it's just to tag the brand because I am so thankful to be receiving them because those don't even get a lot of views for me. I'm just thankful to receive them. So anyways, let's create a fun intro. I do something different every week though I'm officially running out of ideas. So I'm just gonna pile them on my chair and like roll them by I think. I don't know, you'll see the process. So I'm gonna try and fill this chair with the boxes. I think there's too many boxes. Okay, I have like four more boxes to put in. I wanna roll this to where I'm gonna film the TikTok because I have a feeling things are gonna fall. Let's see. Careful. This is so stupid. I can't believe this is my job. Holy sh please don't fall. Uh. I'm gonna need y'all to watch this struggle, but we are gonna get the shot. I have my phone right there. My poor neighbors downstairs. I did it, we got the shot. And this is an accumulation of all our stuff that needs recycled. And I got all of those boxes into three trips. So it will be easy for us to take downstairs to recycling. I just finished filming another TikTok. I decided I need to eat some vegetables today and my husband does as well when he gets home. So towards the end of the week, if we have any veggies that are on their last leg and don't have much life left, I like to make a little batter. I'm just gonna put it in a container though, but sometimes I'll just make a nice plate, kind of like a veggie charcuterie situation because you're so much more likely to eat the vegetables when they're already cut. So I spend most of the early part of the week cooking with the vegetables, whatever, and then whatever we have left, I like to slice them up and make them look a little more appealing. So we have some cucumbers. This bag of carrots needs to be in, so I'm just gonna throw these in here. Don't be coming at how I cut my vegetables. <laughs> And then dip, I'm gonna make like a healthy ranch. So you just need some plain non-fat to Greek yogurt. This is not as yummy as ranch, but it's a lot healthier. Spoonful, this is way too much. And then I'm using Trader Joe's ranch seasoning blend. Also, like if there's a ranch brand you like, see if they sell the seasoning. And then we're gonna mix this up. I'm definitely gonna need more, but we'll start off with this. Bad enough to taste. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of water to thin it out. 
and then boom. Hopefully this will entice my husband to eat some vegetables. <laughs> eat your veggies! Okay. Excuse the unflattering lighting. I am on my balcony, but I think I'm gonna start a new book today. Now, I'm not a big reader at all, but I will try and read a book like every couple of months. Like I'll read one and then I need a break and I hyper fixate on something else. My last hyper fixation was Love Island. So I wanna take a break from the screen and look at another screen because I read on my iPad. But <laughs> I want to read instead of watch and it's a good way to force myself to take a break and not worry about work. So a book is a really great way for me to check out. I'm slowly working my way through the Bridgerton series. I'm starting the fourth book. So that's gonna be Penelope and Colin next. So I'm going to read a little bit and then Jose's gonna make dinner. Yeah, it's a chill Friday night tonight. We have some exciting plans tomorrow that I'm gonna take you on so that you guys can see Miami. Good morning! So it's Saturday morning, it's 8.30. I woke up pretty early for a Saturday this morning. I don't know, I can never sleep in, but see if I can uh, go to Duncan. getting ready to go over to Miami Beach. I was invited to an event by Chris Luce, which is Becky G's makeup brand. So I'm gonna check that out. I thought I'd put myself together. So I'm using my Be Hairful hairbrush just to brush out all of the knots in my hair. My ends are so dead, so they get really tangled. Favorite curling iron is from Conair. It's a two inch curling iron. I probably could invest in a, in a higher quality one, but this Conair has gotten me through all the years. Nothing to complain about. This is why I don't brush out my hair. Like, what is this? Makeup is done. Look how good my makeup looks. Love it, love it, love it. Oh my god, hi little baby. Okay. sweaty though I was nervous and I was sweating and my photo looks bad but it's fine because so I met Becky G and we got it in a vlog that was fun we came in at the perfect time we didn't even need to wait now we're sitting so we are just walking in South Beach now when you visit Miami most likely where you're gonna stay is South Beach this is the really beachy touristy area I love it whenever I'm here I feel like I'm on vacation I wouldn't live on South Beach but when I want to feel like I'm on a tropical vacation and get those vacation vibes, I come here. This is our favorite restaurant here. We love it. We come here all the time. Um, we're gonna get the Cuban combo and then a Cubano, of course. And then you have the beautiful views. Mmm, so yummy.
morning happy sunday so i just finished eating avocado toast i think jose has a soccer game he's gonna watch so we actually normally on sunday mornings take a spin class together but since he has a game i'm going to do a spin class on my peloton that i'm still using i don't use my peloton as much because we have a gym in our apartment and i've been trying to take fitness classes around my area but i still make an effort to use it like once or twice a week and last night oh my gosh i didn't get any footage because when i got home i crashed i was i was so tired i just laid down i watched tv read my book <laughs> and passed out but yeah that was a little short days in my life living in miami i hope you guys enjoyed it you guys were in for a cool one honestly um i normally just stay at home <laughs> this is a good one to film for you guys so again a huge thank you to boxy charm for sponsoring today's video again make sure if you aren't a premium member already make sure you sign up in the month of october to get your tart takeover box i will have the link down below for you to sign up and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one